Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendar and welcome back to Office Master. Today we are diving into a topic that's essential for anyone working with Excel. How to use HLOOKUP for data analysis in Excel. HLOOKUP is a powerful function that allows you to search for data horizontally across rows in a table. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, Mastering HLOOKUP can significantly enhance your data analysis skills. But before we dive deeper into HLOOKUP, I want to share something valuable with you. We are currently offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. Stay tuned because we'll discuss more about this workshop later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's get back to our main topic. How to use HLOOKUP for data analysis in Excel. First of all, let's see what is HLOOKUP function is. For that, we are going to use official documentation from Microsoft Excel. Here you can see, here we got the description. So what it does, searches for a value in the top row of a table or an array of values and then returns a value in the same column from a row you specify in the table or array. Use HLOOKUP when your comparison values are located in a row across the top of a table of data and you want to look down a specified number of rows. Use VLOOKUP when your comparison values are located in column to the left of the, your data you want to find. The H in HLOOKUP stands for horizontal. Horizontal lookup. HLOOKUP means. So here is a syntax. First one is lookup value. Then table array. After that we are having row index number. Then range lookup. So lookup value means this is the required one you have to give the value to be found in the first row of the table. Lookup value can be a value, a reference or a text string. Next one is table array. This one is also required one, a table of information in which data is looked up. Use a reference to range or a range name. So next we have to give row index number okay row index number is also required one the row number in a table array from which the matching value will be returned okay then range lookup this one is optional a logical value that specifies whether you want each lookup to find an exact match or an approximate match if true an approximate match is returned okay now let's see an example okay so here you can see we are having data of these four products okay so this is the first quarter second quarter and third quarter sales data of these particular products so in this example we want to find the sales of third product in second quarter okay for that we are going to use edge lookup horizontal lookup so here i'm going to use edge lookup first of all we have to give the lookup value so here product 3 right we have to find the sales of product 3 in second quarter so first row we have to select in the first row so the lookup value here would be product 3 
then table array i'm going to select the entire table then row index number so we have to find the second quarter sales right so which is in third row okay we just have to specify three then here we want to exact match right you can see we got a 180 and that's correct right before we continue i want to address a crucial aspect of our professional journey the impact of ai on the workforce ai is indeed reshaping industries leading to job displacements or layoffs however it's important to remember that ai won't replace you it's the person leveraging ai tools who will be indispensable in their career to future proof your career and stay ahead of the curve consider joining our two hour microsoft office using ai tools workshop in this workshop will equip you with the knowledge and skills to harness the power of ai tools boost your productivity and elevate your career prospects don't let the fear of automation hold you back seize this opportunity to secure your future with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now let's see another example so this example i took from official website so here you can see we got this data okay and here we are having the formula and the description right first of all what we are going to do is we are going to look for axles which is in row one then we want the value from row two okay that's in same column okay that's why it is called a horizontal lookup so let's try this one okay here you can see first of all we are looking up for axles then we are giving table array after that we want a value from second row then we are giving here true okay you can see we got the value 4 in the same way we can also do these things also let's try this one here we are looking up our second column bearings then we want a value from third row okay which is a uh, seven right so let's copy this thing let me show you this one so you got seven right all right let's wrap up our discussion on edge lookup if you found this video helpful don't forget to like comment and share it with your friends and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel for more informative videos on excel and other office tools also don't miss out an opportunity to join our microsoft office using a tools workshop check out the link in the description box below we'll see you there thank you